Hi everyone, welcome back to Diamond Painters with me, your host Mike, and today we are going to be working on stage three of this fantastic painting um, that we purchased from uh, Timu, and I have been informed through Justin Nikolai <laughs> that he's got a 40 times 50 so he wants me to compare this against his um, 40 times 50 so we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see eh Justin because it's going to take me a while to get through this so uh, <laughs> but I've actually ordered um, another Timu painting uh, yesterday no today yeah I ordered it today so I should get that in about a week's time and uh, hopefully get that one started so I hope it comes early because I've only got about three weeks left of April, so I would like to get it finished by the end of April. Um, but yeah, let's do a weather forecast today, because guess what, guys? It's bloody raining again. <sighs> Alexa, what's the weather forecast, please? Currently, in Braintree, it's 13 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can expect showers with a low of 9 degrees. So yeah, um, uh, that's what it's like um, at the moment. So uh, yeah, um, it's been a bit of a messed up day really today. I got up at, as I spoke about in the last video, uh, my sleep has been mucked up and shortly after i finished the previous session i went to sleep and had like four hour kip and uh yeah it sort of took away the tiredness um still feeling it to be fair but i knew i had to collect um a parcel from the amazon locker of astonish spray um which was the um pink one so i think it's like grapefruit or pomegranate something like that so I've made it into a regular thing, like, every day I'm at that bloody locker. Because <laughs> this is the thing, this game is, like, you get so many vouchers. And the more you play, the more you win, and the more you want to order. And, yeah, so, I'm actually thinking of going on a month, no buy, of diamond paintings. I don't know if I would ever manage that, but uh, talking of diamond paintings, I found this beautiful swan. Um, which I believe I spoke about in the last episode, and I'm really, really excited to see how that one turns out. So I'm not going to give too much away yet. Um, and I'm a little bit... Hang on. Went up to the locker to get my astonish spray and was rather hoping it was a box because my wardrobe is full to the brim of junk um <laughs> you know things that you've collected over the years and i've been selling some more bits that i don't use and jack when i visited the last time jack um, wanted to sell some shirts um and i literally put them on the day before and they sold like the day after like normally any shirts or jumpers that i've put on has took like near enough six or seven months to um to um you know shift and stuff but yeah it must be because it's a great brand because he wears a lot of the Mackenzie brand so apparently that's quite good clothing so um it was like brand new and he didn't want it anymore like I was like and he was literally gonna do I was like I couldn't believe it like he was gonna put it in the clothes bag because we have a company that comes round every so often and delivers like clothes bag leaflets and it goes off to like the people that need clothing and stuff in need like I think it's like places like Africa and Great Ormond Street that sort of thing and um I was like hang on a minute you know give it to me let me see if I can sell it and yeah it you know sold quite straightforwardly so uh and I put it on for, I think it was like 40 quid, and uh, he only wanted a little bit for it, so um, I'll only put it on for the price he wants it as, so yeah, I won't get any cut from it, but there you go. Um, 
<laughs> what can I say? He gave me a lift home, so that's my, you know, that's good for me. So, oh my God, like going home in that bloody Beetle car, um, it was a nice back seat, I'll give you that. It was quite comfy, but it's one of them cars where you have to pull the front seat forward to climb in the back, and my head was like literally touching the ceiling because it's one of them cars that are like, a Beetle is sort of like a, an oval, like a semicircle sort of shape. So, yeah, it was... Um, quite interesting um and then uh what else have i done today um yeah i was quite a bit disappointed because as i was saying we've sort of drifted away here <laughs> um as i was saying with the wardrobe i've been collecting boxes from amazon to put all my stuff in that i don't use anymore and the box that i wanted they didn't send, they sent it in a poxy envelope one and I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that because like, I, um, it was just looked a whole mess and I sometimes collect boxes um, for like storage and stuff and it looks so much tidier now that I've got boxes in there and stuff. So yeah, um, but, you just see, you just have to hope that they send you a box. So, yes. But yeah, if you've never played the Just Play game, I highly recommend that you do because it is a great game. And yeah, um, the amount of stuff I get free with it. I mean, I normally get on average about a pound a day because you have to, you never know like how much you're going to get. It's random amounts all the time and it takes about probably a whole day just to get one voucher, you know, to, and as well, if you don't play it as much, you're going to get like 9, 10p. But I've noticed if I do like a full three hours constant playing, I get like up to 45p. So, yeah, it does... Uh, very, I'm afraid, on that one, but, uh, yeah, um, and I'm thinking about bringing some other bits to the craft channel, because when I visited the range, they had a lovely selection of Easter crafts, um, and, yeah, it was, uh, a bit too late to sort of start that, so now that I know they've got a crafty section, we may be slowly bringing back the videos on the craft channel because that channel is so hard to you know think of things to do and I've always wanted to sort of like do a craft channel but I just I've done painting and making crackers and sand art but there's just what do you do um I, I quite like making cards and I got these gold stars from Timu, but they're too small for what I want them for, so Yeah, um, wanted to do a bit more with Big Ben today, but today has been completely upside, turning out sort of thing. Um, it's been a very messed up day. Um, <laughs> so I've got nothing done yet again. So...
But yeah, um, I watched these senders at like six o'clock this morning because um, they put it on the iPlayer thing um, like a day early or like earlier than it's due to air. And uh, yeah, I um, that's that done. So it does free up the 7.30 slot to do perhaps a bit more of this. But, oh my god, like, I'm so getting bored of Linda's character. Um, Kelly Bright plays Linda, but the character that she plays is so boring. Like, all she does is, like, leave enough cry and, you know, get wound up about... She's always, like, she get, drinks a lot as well, you know, but there's always something, you know. She never seems to come across as, like, a happy character. So, yeah... If I have a show about lives, so I have been thinking about over the last sort of couple of days of when to bring back the lives. Um, trouble is, it's quite tricky because I work Monday to Friday, yeah? So I normally have, th I used to work Thursdays and then go on the Friday, but now I work Monday to Thursday and have the Friday off, Saturday off and the Sunday off. The problem I have with that is that normally on the weekends I'm visiting Teddy and stuff. So it would, I'm thinking maybe once every other four, every other Saturday because he only comes every other Saturday. So um, I don't know how we will do that. Um, and then I was thinking perhaps like do it on the Friday maybe. But yeah, I'm still tinkering with that idea at the moment. So I'll announce more on when the lives will be back um, fairly soon. Once I've sorted out my diary of what I want to do on what day. Um, so yeah. Do you know, the funny thing was, is before I had a diary, I used to like have to memorise it. Like, and try and remember it. And then I came up with like putting it in a diary sort of thing. So, yeah, it's still working. <sighs> right, just to pre-warn you guys, this phone might cut off a minute. Um, I hope it don't cut the filming off. If it does, then I, uh, I apologise, but... Come on. Hopefully, that message goes away in a minute. Because I can't click it. It's saying low battery, but I've plugged it in. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, took it away now. Lovely. So yeah, what were we talking about? So tomorrow is unboxing day. So no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm thinking that this is for Wednesday. I'm, I'm filming this for Tuesday, but Tuesday's is already filmed. So ignore that. Um, you will get um, a whipping chat instead tomorrow. Because this will technically be Thursday's video, so therefore you will get this on Friday. So yeah. So I think I'm going to have a strange combination tonight. I'll have lasagna. Because I really fancy chicken nuggets. It says his chicken nuggets called corn. And... Um, I'm not really a lover of the corn ones. I like the chicken dipper things from Bird's Eye. Um, but, you know, you can tell in the quality of meat. It's like Easter egg. When my, si when my sister got me the... Um, oh, uh, the Reese's chocolate. The actual egg tasted different to the Cadbury chocolate that you get. So, I think they just use, like, cheap crap... Um, chocolate, like Easter and stuff. 
someone actually put, spoke about that on TikTok about it being like they could tell like the quality was different. So anyway, I think I'll have lasagna and then I'll have a few chicken uh, nuggets with it. So if you ever watch Debbie Gets Crafty, she's always talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> you make me hungry, Debbie, when you speak about it, you know. So, she's always like, what do you have? What are you guys having? And <laughs> my mouth is, like, watering as I'm listening to it, you know. It's just, um, she was speaking about, there was a whipping chat that she was doing. And she was saying something about that Debbie had, uh, no, Judy had technical problems. So she lost some of her videos or something. So she had to then catch up with a couple of, she had to do like two stickers to make up for it. And she was saying that Todd got three lumps of ham or something for a really good price. So I know in America they've got a shop because like one of my creators does weekly food um, planners. And she goes to a shop called Ramey's and Ramy's is, oh my god, like, the ma the amount of meat you get for, like, and she always gets, like, a rebate with it as well, so, yeah. So I wouldn't mind going there. I'm talking about me. I fancy spaghetti bolognese. Oh my God, like I was so naughty. So I went to the yodel shop today because I had to drop off a parcel. And I fancied like, sometimes I'll get like, you know, the big cookies, five in a pack for a pound. Um, and well, actually they're like 165, but I, um, fancy like a cake or something and there was like these these um i think they're 12 easter cakes for like a pound um well these were reduced to clear so i suspect they're not selling very well um or it's late in the day and it's coming up to the sale by date maybe so anyway um i got that and oh man like 135 i had the whole pack while watching the bidding room <laughs> So, oh man, it's so funny. Shouldn't be eating all these cakes. And then I um, was coming in to set up and would you believe, like, there was this spider hanging from, because this room has, like, a beam running through it and there was a spider, like, on the wall and one's dead. I don't know how it, it probably died in the heat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but this spider was hanging off the wall and you know when you're like quick I've got to like you know get rid of it sort of thing well I ended up trying to poke it with this stick um with the jumper so it basically broke in half and I had the t-shirt on the end of here just to try and catch it and jab it sort of thing and the thing ooh, like I don't even like talking about these things, but it was sort of like moving in the shirt and I was like, no. And so I picked it up and sort of like chucked it down the toilet and I didn't even see it come in the toilet. So I think it's still crawling around in the t-shirt somewhere, but <laughs> I don't like spiders. I hate the things. And that's one of the reasons why I don't really open my windows very much because you sort of wonder, well, how do they get in? You know, it's, they must climb up more walls than they do up bloody bushes or something, you know. So, yes, I uh, can't stand the things. I don't mind the small ones. I can handle them. But it's, it's what really creeps me out is when they're like, they just sort of like move so quick. And you're like, oh, oh no. Do you remember that day we were filming and there was one that like crawled along the... <laughs> Tessa, you'll be able to know. Tell me which video that was, because I'll be keen to re-watch that to see where it went. Just couldn't believe that. It just came strolling along. It's like, hey, you know. It'd be funny if it won across there, because then I've caught it, because 
the this would be like a glue trap um so yeah and then i would attach that and then he couldn't he wouldn't be able to escape because he's stuck to the thing so you could actually do that couldn't you like you could like if it ran along and got stuck keep it there until it's dead and then it could be like a, a symbol of the drill talking of drills um i'm joking by the way but obviously i got an email from diamond art club and it said something along the lines of um we've got brand new scented drills well of uh, you know at first i thought oh right you know thinking it's a new thing well of course totally forgot about the day and it's april's fall's day so i don't know if you folks get that in america or any of my other international viewers that watch but apparently um you're supposed to make a joke or something well they then said that it was a joke but could you imagine scented drills you go to smell it and it gets stuck up your nose and then travels like further down into the brain you know that would be like <laughs> scented drills i remember years ago at the cinema we watched rugrats and that was good god um donkey's years ago and it was rugrats the movie and they had this thing that it was like a card but it's called a scratch and sniff so what you would do is when they're going through like the the movie and a symbol would come on the screen like a strawberry or a banana and what it would do would flash on the screen and then you've got a scratch away with like a 2p you know that like a scratch card and you scratch it to reveal the symbol we had to scratch it when it come on the screen and then you smelt it um and I've, obviously that would be what it was um the smell of so if you scratch the strawberry it would smell of strawberry and it was strange how they made them but yeah um i think the first ever movie i ever went to see way back in 2003 i went to see in 2003 <laughs> um was probably treasure planet you know all these uh you look back you know and you sort of think where the hell has time gone you know it's every day is like a ticking time bomb you're getting older every day and you know it's it scares me to think that one day we're all going to be dead you know it just i've always thought that you could live forever who wants to live forever forever <laughs> that's actually a song um and i think um steve no freddy oh gosh what's his name who's that guy in we will rock you called freddy something i've gone blank um <laughs> oh man i can't remember his name freddy something and he sings that song so yeah but yeah it just i just wish that you could live forever you know and i actually thought of the idea of getting like a, a pig heart because i'm being serious like they reckon that pig's heart is the nearest to a human heart but then you've got to remember like all the other organs sort of pack up so that's why i say treasure every moment you know you want to go to the london eye make it happen you want to go in a car you want to learn to drive make it happen you know i'd love some of my wishes would be to travel in a plane i've never gone in a plane before i'd like to go in a helicopter for a ride um I'd like to pass my driving test because I actually did driving lessons for like two years and then I just got fed up in the end and gave up um and then um what else would I like to do I'd like to go in a hot air balloon because my mum's been in one and it's trouble is though it's like so expensive 300 pound for like a 30 minute tr trip you know that's disgusting um and then i've always wanted to be a zookeeper don't think that'll ever happen now i actually applied once uh, <laughs> to colchester zoo and uh they ripped me a letter going sorry you were unsuccessful but they did what annoys me with like employees is they don't go into the reasons 
why you were unsuccessful. Give us the reason why, you know. Um, I would love doing that. But I think I sort of, it was my fault because obviously, as you know, Colchester Zoo is along this massive road with no path to walk in. You have to like get a car or a bus or a taxi, you know, because there's no footpath. Um, I think it goes up so much, many way and then it stops. And I said, well, how would I get home? And I think, you know, that's not really what the employer wants to hear. Like, and I was like, well, how can I get in? And I sort of thought, yeah, I've blown this shit, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we are human. We make mistakes. So, Oh, I'd like to do, you know, that thing called duck tours. It's like a boat, but it's a, a, a bus at the same time. And it's like a proper light bus. And then you, you go, it just glides in the water. And then it's randomly a boat. I think that's fantastic. But I don't think they do that anymore in London. They stopped it, didn't they? So, yeah. Oh, crumbs. I forgot I had my cup of tea here. I've got a large crack. Look at this. It's going right the way down my cup. That's not a hair or anything. And I'd be really gutted if that broke. Because it's going down there, look. All down the side. But, yeah. I <laughs> I think that's on the verge of giving up. But I don't want to... That was like a gift from my brother. Because I love Back to the Future. As you can see, it's got the DeLorean. I can't tip it too much. Because the, um, the tea will fall out. But you see, it's got 88 miles per hour. Well, that was a gift. Oh, lovely. I've got an addiction to collecting cups. <laughs> Do you know the amount of cups I've got in my cupboard? Like, I've got ones that are of, of Olaf. I've got ones that are, like, from Texas, Butlins, Harry Potter. I've got loads of Harry Potter ones. So, yeah. I really must stop buying cups. But the thing is, you know, I I don't just like drinking out of like a boring old plain cup. You know, you want a nice, decent cup. One of my favourites is the Texas one because it's it's not like tall. It's just that big, fat, round cup of tea, you know. So, only problem is, is that I drink for Britain. So, as soon as it goes, drinks finished i get another one on and oh yeah you know the custard creams oh yeah man i've i've been really good i've not been buying biscuits for like two weeks and then i really fancy custard creams one night and i was like i'm gonna go and get them and you get a massive pack for you know like 65p so it's awfully good you know See, it would have been nicer if I could get the train on Saturday, but as we all know, bloody engineering works again. Do you know what? Yeah, they had engineering works for like the whole of every Sunday for the like the whole of March, and apparently it's flagged up like a purple line, which means partial engineering. So apparently the trains are stopping at Whitham, and then you've got to get a bus like to Newbury Park and stuff. So. I reckon I'm going to have to go on Thursday, maybe. Once to live forever, forever. <sighs> oh, God. Why am I so tired? Like, I've had a four-hour nap. all these hours I do you see it's catching up with me but who else is exhausted when they're you know in day in day out seven o'clock till like five I mean you know um just as an example are you like knackered by the time the end of the week has come because I know I am
How are we doing for time? 38 minutes, lovely. Um, I'm thinking of changing kit ups to Tuesdays as well because I really do need to restructure the schedule a bit more because I don't want to keep doing whipping chats every day. I want to jumble it up a bit, you know, a few lives, maybe you kit up a whipping chat, unboxings, you know. So I was actually thinking of changing the unboxings to Monday as well because I've got stacks upon stacks of unboxings that um won't show you guys so yeah but, do. but yes after this i will make a start on dinner and it's nice because i don't have to rush about because i've watched eastenders normally on like i i i normally have my dinner every night at like seven o'clock and i'm like sometimes cook it too late and then i'm like oh no eastenders is doing it and you're half watching eastenders get up off the seat quickly check the dinner's okay you know <laughs> so yeah. But, um, yeah, nothing exciting happening. Um, I already have my heart set on what I want from the range, so yes, I can exclusively reveal they will be small ones because the big ones are quite a handful. She gave me, oh my god, like this woman gave me the most stupidest bag ever. Like it would not fit all the stuff that I wanted it in. And where you're supposed to carry it like that, I had to carry it like this, you know, with the handle because it was like it just did not fit. They don't seem to do big enough bags. So, yeah, I'm going to take my rucksack this time and uh, hopefully it fits in there. So, so, it's got a few compartments. So, it should do. And I hate carrying bags. <laughs> I'm not one for carrying bags. So, you know, the first trip was like a walk around, sort of like get used to what shops are there. But I actually went in the entertainer because... They said that, uh, I know Tessa's got a parrot from there before, so yeah, um, they didn't have nothing in there. Really crap shop. It's just literally full of toys. Having said that, they are full to the brim of Funko Pops, and one I've got my eye on. It's like a Funko Pop with a ET t-shirt in it, and I was like, oh wow. But I don't, it's like a kid's version, so I don't think there's going to be an adult version for that because I imagine the t-shirt's going to be quite small because the packaging looks proper small so it's probably like a kid's shirt which is disappointing because I would have liked to have had that. I have got a few Funko Pops um, so yeah I'll have to dig them out. I think Linda um, over at Lazy Retired Granny she, she I think it was her that said she had um, did you have Funko Pops Linda? Because I'm sure it was you that said you had Funko Pops. Was it someone else? I actually, I'll make you laugh, yeah. I bought a Pop-Tart once. <laughs> I bought a Pop-Tart once and actually burned it. Like, it was horrible. It was like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And Debbie Gets Crafty, that chicken you was talking about, um, I think you call it a peep. Is that a chicken sweet? Because I vaguely remember they're like a chicken sort of sweet aren't they i just think american candy is so much better than the crap we get here in the uk zebra cakes honey buns you know oh yes send it my way please we have actually got an american shop here but i don't know if it closed down um i don't actually go in there because it's to me it's too small it doesn't really stock enough stuff um but i'll tell you another thing that i like is you know the minion sweets not not minions the millions you know the little round balls oh man so gorgeous very chewy you know very nice
<laughs> I remember that guy. Who remembers that guy on Britain's Got Talent? And he was he was doing like naked poses or something. And every time he did one, he goes, "Don't worry, I'm wearing the pants." <laughs> He was proper good, like, at what he did. Like, he could do all these poses, and it looked like he was in the nude, but it weren't. You know, he was wearing pants the whole time, but the way he did it, sort of like, yeah, it was really interesting um, in the fact that he was still wearing the pants, but he looked like he was nude, you know? Um, so, yeah, and every time he sort of done a pose, he was like, don't worry, I'm wearing the pants, and then... <laughs> <laughs> but how the hell is his name Vigolo? I don't. I just can't understand how he got through waving a, a high vis jacket around. Hannah, do you watch that? Britain's Got Talent. I can believe that. Like he won just for like going. Hey, this is a jacket. You know how? Like that is not talent. Working around. You know, turning, um, flicking your high vis around. How the hell is that talent? Like what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you get some crazy things on that show. But yeah, I think what will happen is they're waiting for Saturday Night Takeaway to finish and then that will fall into that slot. Because if I remember rightly, it's on a Saturday for so many weeks and then it goes weekly. Um, I, I mean, it goes daily, so yeah. Well, that is frustrating because I really wanted to get that funnel done, but that's fine. That's not a problem. It just means we need to, I, I still haven't. This is what the problem is, is that I've got all these, oh, sponge. Um, I've got all these trays here. Look, yin and yang, and then tiger, timu tiger. These all need to be de-kitted, and then I'll have all them ready. Because they're all like spare drills, you know. I've got stuff over here from way back when we did the um, fireworks, look. So all of these, it's just finding the time to sit down and put them all in their things. So I've probably got all of that lot, all of that lot, and all of this lot I could free up. There's tons and tons and tons of trays here. <laughs> so... Yes, I need to have a think about that. Okay, so what we will do now is how long we got on the clock. Da -da 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 Boom. <laughs> so now we're sort of going into the smoke of the funnels. Because this is the um, talking of funnels, you can actually get a funnel web spider. <laughs> I don't like spiders. But the word funnel just reminded me of that. Apparently, a funnel web spider is supposed to be extremely dangerous. So, um, you could probably Google that, but it's not a very nice spider. <laughs> but, uh, yes, this is the F now. So this is going to be black. It looks black, doesn't it? So I'm saying that that's probably black. So, um, Justin Nikolai, um, are you working on any Titanic paintings at the moment or are you finished it now? Um, Oh, crumbs, I've just remembered. I need to show you the... I wanted to show you the one that I did off camera. Um, but I can't pause it on this phone. And rather than, like, run in the other room and then have to sit there, watch the video, find in the cut, cut it. Oh, no, I can't be asked with all of that. So I'd rather... I'll try and remember next time. But I'll show you the other one. Because the other one that I got was from Amazon. And this one looks very sort of like um pixelated if it, no sorry this one looks like someone's just like run out of ink it looks so faded but the other one looks like crystal clear but it's exactly the same image um and it may be different drills because i have had a case where i've gone to get the same painting to try and replace the drills that i've had missing and it's totally different colors so never think that you can get the same drill twice um boo ba ba da ba ba da boom chicka waka chicka waka chicka boom boo 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 let this moment forget I could oh do you know what that was that's what I could do yeah so what I'll do is if I remember after dinner 
I might stick a few YouTube videos on, catch up with everyone that I need to get caught up with and just try and de-kit these trays and free up these trays because that will really help us with Titanic. Um, this one's quite nice in the fact that it's mainly all the same colour on, on every row that we're doing here, so it's proper good. So how far do I want to take that up? I don't know. Let's take it up a bit more because if we take it up a little bit more, it helps out with this skinny bit right at the end because I don't think we'll make this a bit large um, and then that way the only way is up baby la, 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 la. does anyone watch that Towie <laughs> I love watching the only way is Essex but I think I've cheered up um, now, so you and me now, the only way is oh, yeah, no, we don't want to go any further than that. Good god, it looks too big now. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. So, yeah, we'll do the let's block this in now. I think, um, this is mainly all F and two and views. I'd like to, I think, next session, I need to get a few more trays so that we can work on these funnels. That'd be quite nice. Get them all sorted out. So, yabba dabba do. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba do da day, okay? La 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 Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba do da, yabba do da, yabba do da day. I'm really sorry, but all, there's not a video. <laughs> I don't think there's a video where I don't sing. <laughs> so, um, I just love singing. Sing, sing, let the be ring when the voices are the, the phantom of the opera is he inside my mind. In sleep he sang to me. In dreams again. Alexa, let's see if we can play any Titanic. Alexa. Oh, bum. She's plugged. She's unplugged because I had to borrow the plug, didn't I? Oh, no. Do you know what I love, um, Justin, is that, you know, the one that's the called the Hymn to the Sea? Mm. Or the one that goes... Um... I can't remember. Ah, yes. What's the one called where it goes? Sing forever, see him never, every peril on the sea. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Catherine Jenkins sings that as well. But I can't remember what it's called. And in the dark sheet shining light. La, 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 la. This is nice. I've been waiting to get to this bit because this is like the funnel section. So, ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just, sorry. I'm just checking the line here. I don't want to go too much over. I literally was playing the game, yeah, and I got 9p just now. I didn't play it long enough. Yeah, earlier it was like 30p. Like, give me more. It's all my time I have to play on this bloody thing. <laughs> Get in the dark sheets shine for the, the everlasting glow for me. Sing forever, see him never, every peril on the sea. Yeah, I think I'll call this my last line now because um, what we at now? 52 minutes, so yeah. Ooh. But that's all you can do, guys. Just keep, you know, working at it day in, day out and uh, soon be finished and uh, on to the next one. So, give a little bit of a Why do they call the captain? It's not like captain, it's captain, you know? Oh, oh crumbs, I've got to get that other video up. 
I forgot about this one. No. Get in the sunshine side for me. La 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 la. On the set. That song's in my head now. <laughs> I don't really, I do like Titanic songs, but I don't really like the one Celine Dion does, because that song, you know, the one that goes, Near, far, wherever you are, I can feel that the heart does go on. Well, I find that quite emotional, because every year I watch it on the new, um, this makes no sense, I watch <laughs> um, every year I watch the DVD on... I think they have it on Disney Plus on the 15th of April. I always watch Titanic and it's quite a long film. But by the end of it, you're sort of like, it's emotional. You know, that scene where Jack, uh, Rose loses Jack and he, you know, you see him fade down to the bottom of the ocean. Um, but on that note, we are going to draw this to a finish here on this session. So we finished slightly early, which is always nice. And um, yeah, I think now you can see we've got much more of a better square because before it was like we got two squares and a skinny bit. So just by extending that a bit, we've now created like a rectangle there. So uh, these may have to go in rectangles, but that's fine. And ta-da! Oh, wow! Look at that! Oh, that's gorgeous! Look at how this blue is really dark. Oh, wow! And what's nice is, look, you've got this, the smoke is coming from this side and it's sort of seeping over the top of the night sky here. This is going to turn out beautiful. I think, Teresa, we're going to try our best not to get stuck this time. <laughs> do you remember when I was rolling and I got, I actually rolled the sticky bit, but all you do is, this is a little um, roller that I got from Timu, um, or Timu, whatever you call it. And all you do is you just roll that back and forth. And what that does is that just flattens them and also you know keeps them firmly stuck because sometimes what you'll get is sometimes the drills will pop every time you put them on it'll pop off again so eventually obviously once this is done i'll seal it but let me know guys do you when you seal do you wait till you finish your whole paint and then seal it or do you seal it as you go along because i have started to do that where i've started to do a section and then seal it but then i find that once it's dry i can't work out if it's been sealed or not so yeah this is really progressing well i'm really hopeful that we can finish it by the end of april because the target is by the 15th of april i really would like this up and on the wall by the 15th but you know we keep doing a few more sessions every day and we soon be there i reckon um so yeah but yeah that's uh if you want to get one of these it's on Timu, you can get the chunkier ones as well, which are quite nice. They're um because this one's a plastic roller and the other one's like a rubber, but yeah, whatever works for you. That's been um the next phase of Titanic. I'm really happy with how this is looking so well. And I'll try and get that other one um that I said because this one, as I said, it looks like it's very sort of faded and like just been splattered down. The other one is a lot more uh, crisper in you know the picture and that but i will try and remember to get that for next time but thank you so much for watching this is um really turning out quite nice with titanic if you want to get this for yourself you can get it on amazon or uh timu um i always like to go down the cheaper route because obviously i spend quite a lot of money on these paintings and uh the cheaper the better really because um when you get addicted to keep uh ordering and ordering <laughs> You know, um, we want to get it at a good deal, don't we? So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, come on, uh, come along because we'd love to have you here. And um, always tap that notification bell. That'll give you just a little notification to uh, say that I've uploaded the next video. And um, we'll see you next time for another session of this wonderful, beautiful ship of Titanic. Until then, have a lovely evening and we'll catch you later.